and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions. Also upon the servants and the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. In what days? You Last know what, day. what days? This day, today. Today is the day he's pouring out his spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. That's right. Whatever day you're in is the day. I want to go back just a few verses. Let's go back to uh, verse 16. This is the call for us to take that anointing and and, and do what we've been to, spoken to to do. Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth out of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. You know what that's talking about? Let me just give you a clue. What, what happens before every great move of God? We've talked about this so many times. There is a, there is a, a call to prayer. There is a call on solemn assembly. The people gather together. They sanctify themselves, begin to seek, seek God. And what happens? The bridegroom comes forth from his chamber. And that's when the bride is to come out of the closet. You know what? Those of us who've been anointed and appointed by the Lord, who have Jesus living in us, need to come out of the closet, need to come out of the four walls of the church where we are hidden away, like, and to begin to minister to people where they're at. You know what? Most times, the people who need the gospel most of all will not walk into a church. It's like the alcohol, the alcoholic, you won't find him in the AA meeting unless they're drug in there under, under duress, even though that's where they need to be. He oftentimes, people who need the Lord will not come into a church. They won't, you can invite them a hundred times, they won't come, but you know what? If you go out of the church, come out of your closet, you can begin to minister to them to set the captives free. Hallelujah. To heal the sick. And I love that, set the captives free. You know, we don't think about it. We think about prison as being the only captives, but you know, there are many types of prisons. Drugs and alcohol are prisons. That's right. Mm -hmm. Addiction is a, is a terrible bondage. These kinds of things. And you have been called to set the captives free. You've been anointed. You may not know how to do it, but begin to pray. Begin to seek God and, and share the share the gospel. Hallelujah. I'm not going to belabor this because I think y'all got the point, but I just want to encourage you. You are authorized. You've been sent. And let's go out of our closet, bride. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, the bride Pastor. Of Christ. Let's go out of our closet. We can, we can go into the community. You know what? You don't have to be in church to share the gospel. You don't have to be knocking on doors. Matter of fact, growing up, I was sent out with some other girls, and we must have knocked on 100 doors one night. Can we come in and talk to you about Jesus? We were probably about Gloria and, and uh, Grace's age. Wow. We were so nervous. Hello. Shaky in our boots, but that's the way we did it in those days. I'm sure, Kevin, you probably knocked on a lot of doors. Mm -hmm. Now people knock on my door and I run. And I hope, or, I, or I hope that they don't ring the bell because the dog will go crazy. <laughs> but how much, how much more effective is it if the Lord has been drawing them and makes an appointment for you, if you will be a, sensitive to the Holy Spirit and when that person is in your path, you just begin to share with them the good news of the gospel and begin to uh, share with them that the Lord can set them free. If they're sick, pray for them. You don't have to make a big deal out of it. You don't even have to close your eyes. Just say, can I pray with you right now? And you know what? You'd be surprised. God will touch them. God will heal them. 
because you are his hands and feet. And Jesus wants to set people free, and he He will use you to do it. That's right. Amen? Amen. Are you on board? Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, let's stand up one last time and just sing that chorus again. And then we'll close with that. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. All will see how great, how great is our God. How great is our God. Sing with me how great. Our God, all oh, will see how great, how great is our God. Amen. Now well, let's go and make Jesus famous. Amen. 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 Good word. Amen. Thank you. It's time to take the offering.